For more than 60 years, adults and children in Greater Cleveland have been forging powerful relationships. Now Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Greater Cleveland is looking for more grown-ups to become positive role models. News Catherine Katherine Ross spoke to a big and little about the program's impact on their lives and what it takes to be a mentor. Good morning, Katherine. Yeah, good morning, Mike and Dini. Well, the pair I spoke to, they they have a little bit of an age difference, but they consider each other best friends. And it doesn't take any special qualifications to be a big brother or a big sister. All you need to do is bring yourself and be open to making a new friend. Like yeah. so, this one you're like throwing the dough in the air, right? It's been a year full of adventure for Alonzi Canada and Ryan Zapolsky. Uh, we went to uh, pizza shops. Uh, we went to go get ice cream. The Science Center. The pair has only known each other since January, but they've quickly become good buddies. He's he's one of my new best friends for sure, um, and I think you know we always just have a good time no matter what it is. They met through Big Brothers Big Sisters of Greater Cleveland. It's a minimum one year commitment, but very rarely are people looking at their watch after a year and saying time's up. The organization's president, Jessica Walter, started as a little sister in the program and nearly two decades later, she says she's still in touch with her big sister. Yeah. Have fun. That was all that I thought was, you know, Deborah is this really nice lady that takes me ice skating because that's what I want to do. And then when I was an adult, I learned about all the ways that she was thinking about mentoring. Yeah, <laughs> At any given time, Walter says close to 50 kids are waiting for a big brother or big sister. The demand is especially high for big brothers. Alonzi says the new friendship has been a highlight. Alonzi, what would you be doing if you weren't spending time with Ryan or if you hadn't met him? Probably be bored. <laughs> and Ryan agrees that the fun times are also an investment for both of them. I love Cleveland. I love our community. And I think um, the, the best way to help it is to give back our time and uh, helping kids thrive so that in the future, uh, our community stays strong. Now, the program isn't as much of a time invested as you might think. It only takes two to four hours per month for 12 months. And Mike and Danita, they match the bigs and littles based on their interests. Alonzi and Ryan there, they were both passionate about pizza, as you may be able to tell from some of those pictures. <laughs> and that's a good thing to have in common. I'm not mad at that. No, great match. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine.